Hello, boys and girls. My name is Teacher Molly, and today I'm here with Teacher Jackie. Great, Teacher Jackie. How was your week? My week was great. How oh. about yours? Mine was full of blessings, children. How was your week? I hope you had a wonderful time, isn't it? Now, let us have a prayer from Teacher Jackie. Wow, let us close our eyes, bow our hands, hands together. Our dear and everlasting Father, we want to thank you for this opportunity to hear your word today. We thank you for the gift of life. We welcome your presence. May your word change our lives forever. We love you and we honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Everybody say a big amen. 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 Beautiful teacher Jackie. There's something we usually do here and it brings us a lot of joy. Can you tell us what it is? Oh, yes. Get ready for worship and dance for God. Wow. Children, when we pray and when we sing, we overwhelm our Lord with a lot of joy. Oh, do you yes. want to overwhelm me with a lot of joy? Yes. Yes. Let us go for praise and worship and some Ooh. dance. I worship you, I worship you, you are here, walking in this place, I worship you, I worship you. When they come, we don't go out, I promise keep a light in the darkness, my God, that is who you are. Touching every heart, I worship you, I worship you. You are here, healing every heart, I worship you, I worship you. When they come, miracle walker, from his feet, the light of the darkness, my God, that is who you are. an amazing praise and worship. Teacher Jackie, did you enjoy yourself? Yes, I did. Oh. And how about you? Yes, I enjoyed myself. And now, children, Teacher Jackie, you have something to tell us? Oh, yes. Can we remember, children, what we learned last time? Let's have a look. Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 13, it says, after this manner, Therefore pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For, thy, for thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. 
Hi guys, my name is John and I have a memo verse. Matthew chapter 6 verse 9 to 13. It says, This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Bye. Wow, that was amazing. I can see that you remember what we learned last week. Now we have something else in store. Good. Chamoli. We have oh. our memory verse for today. Mm -hmm. Do you want to hear it? Yes. I want you to pay attention and then you'll repeat after us. Okay, children? Great. And our memory verse for today comes from the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15, 15 verse 22. But Samuel replied, What is more pleasing to the Lord, your burnt offerings and sacrifices, or your obedience to his voice? Listen! Obedience is better than sacrifice, and submission is better than offering the fat of rams. Wow, they said it. That was wonderful. And now, Teacher Jackie, what's coming next? A Bible story. Are you guys ready back at all? Wow, I can see they are ready. And our Bible story teacher today is... Teacher Anne. Let us welcome Teacher Anne. Hello, boys and girls. My name is Teacher Anne, and I'm taking you through the Bible lesson today. And our Bible lesson is about Abraham and Isaac. And we get it from the Word of God, which is the Bible, from the book of Genesis, chapter 22, verses 1 to 18. And Genesis is the first book in the Bible. This is about how Abraham was asked by God to sacrifice his only son. It was a difficult uh, thing that God asked him, but he chose to obey. So we are learning how we can be obedient even when we are in a difficult situation. So Abraham was very old. And when he was 100 years old, God gave him a son. His wife was 90 years old. And when they got this son, they called him Isaac. And they were very happy because they had not had any child before. So after some time, God decided he's going to test Abraham. And he asked Abraham, I want you to go to the land of Moriah, to a place that I'm going to show you. And then you will sacrifice your only son, yes, your son whom you love so much. And you know that's the only son Abraham had, and Abraham obeyed God. It must have been very difficult for him, but he chose to obey. So the following day, Abraham uh, called his two servants, he took uh, the donkey, and his son, Isaac, he cut the firewood and then put the firewood on the donkey. And they said to go to the land of Moriah. Then on their way, when they found that they are almost reaching the point of sacrifice, Abraham told the servants, you remain here. I and Isaac will go and worship the Lord. So the servant remained behind in the donkey. Abraham took the firewood and then he put it on the shoulders of Isaac. And they, they set forth to go to where they were supposed to offer the sacrifice. But when they were going, 
Isaac looked at the father and said, Father, um, the father said, Yes, my son, ask. I want to ask you, we have firewood and we have the fire, but where is the lamp that you are going to offer to God? Abraham told Isaac, don't worry. God himself is going to provide. So Isaac was not worried. I believe he had come to believe, uh, to believe in God, knowing that God was almighty. So they went. When they reached the place where God had told Abraham to lay the sacrifice, Abraham set everything ready. He took the stones, he laid the stones and made an altar for God. Then he took the firewood which he had carried, which Isaac had carried, and lay arranged the firewood neatly on the altar. Yes, because he was going to lay to, to sacrifice for God. He had to be excellent, and then he had the knife with him. He had the knife with him. It was going to use for sacrifice. Then he took his son, the only son whom he loved. I believe it must have been shocking for Isaac. Then he tied Isaac and placed him on the altar that he had laid. He tied him up, tied him up. I can't imagine what Isaac was feeling or thinking, whether he was screaming, because I don't know, it must have been difficult even for him. So he tied him and was ready to offer the sacrifice. This is the son, the only son that he had, the son that he loved with his own, with his own heart. So he took the knife and was ready to sacrifice. Then he lifted the knife to sacrifice Isaac. At that point, when he had lifted the knife, he heard a voice, Abraham, Abraham. And he listened. And he had, do not touch the boy. Just look behind you. And at that point, Abraham looked behind. When he looked behind, he saw a ram tied at the thicket that was behind. And then he took that ram and he brought it. He untied Isaac. And laid the ram that he had got and placed it there and offered the sacrifice to God. When he finished, God was pleased with him. And God said, I am happy that you did not withhold your only son. And now, because you have, obe you have obeyed, I am going to bless you. I'm going to give you descendants like the stars of the sky and like the sand of the seashore. And because of your obedience, nations of the earth will be blessed. Wow, that was so exciting. I can't believe what happened. And that is what we hear, we learn that is the Abrahamic blessing. And because of Abraham, we are also blessed. So what do we learn from the, this story, children? Yes, just think. Yes, we are learning that God is always with us, even in a difficult situations. Abraham chose to obey even though the situation was difficult. He was told to sacrifice his only son, but he agreed. 
He didn't question God, but he trusted God. The other lesson that we learn, sometimes we could be in a difficult situation. We should always do the right thing. Abraham could have chosen not to sacrifice the son, but he chose to do the right thing, though it was difficult for him. And because of that, we are blessed. And the third lesson that we learn is that Jesus is our perfect sacrifice. Jesus came and dined for our sins. He was the one who was sacrificed instead of a bull or a ram or yourself. But Jesus died so that he can take away our sins. And he became the perfect sacrifice, meaning that we do not have to kill an animal. You do not have to sacrifice a human being. You do not have to pour blood for you to be blessed. But because of Jesus, we are blessed. And today, children, I want to remind you that because of Jesus, we are blessed. And I want to repeat what we learned from this lesson. We trust God even when we are in hard situations. Number two, even in those hard situations, we should learn to do the right thing at all times. And doing the right things means that you can tell the truth, obey your parents, don't follow the crown if they are doing the wrong thing, and believe God. And number three, Jesus is our perfect sacrifice. He died for us, and because of him, we are set free. And today I want to ask you, if you have not accepted Jesus in your heart, you need to let him become your sacrifice to you by opening your heart, allowing him to come to your heart and being your savior. And you do that, children, by praying a prayer with me, after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Come into my heart, wash away my sin, and write my name in the book of life. I am your child. In Jesus' name, amen. Can we all say amen? Yes, Jesus is our sacrifice, perfect sacrifice. And because now Jesus is in our heart, we will always do the right thing. And that brings us to the end of our Bible story for today. And we have an assignment for you. Did you do the last week's assignment? I believe that you did. So today, ask your parents or your guardians to print for you the coloring page and then you color nicely and send it to our community WhatsApp and we will see it and we'll be happy. And then practice being obedient throughout the week and doing the right thing even when you're in a difficult moment. And until next time, bye. Wow, that was an amazing Bible story. Teacher Jackie, can you imagine how much faith Abraham had? Wow, he had a lot of faith in God. Children, I hope you're going to have faith in God like Abraham had. Wow, and I'm so sure the whole week you're going to put your faith in practice. Is that okay, children? 
great. Wow, Teacher Jackie, did you see the work the children did? Oh, yes, they were beautiful. And did you see the videos, the dance, and the wow. memory verse? Wow, you people dance very well. Great, and parents will ask you that please allow your children to say some memory verses and send us the videos through our WhatsApp community number. Can you see it right under down there on your screen? Great. And now, back to the homework. Teacher Jack, do you have some homework for them? Oh, yes, I have. I want every one of us to ask our parents and guardians to print out our assignment and make sure you write your name at the top yes. and color very well. And then you take a photo of your assignment and send it to our WhatsApp community. And now we want to wind up with a prayer from Teacher Molly. Are you ready for a word of prayer? Yes. Great. Let us bow down our heads and then I'll pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you so much for the viewers who are on the other side of the screen. Thank you for even helping them to listen to us, O Jehovah. We thank you even plus their parents back at home, Jehovah. We pray that throughout the week, they will practice their faith through the Bible story we've learned today, Jehovah. We thank you and we bless you. It is in Jesus' mighty name we pray and believe. Amen. Did you say a louder amen? Amen. Until next time, we say bye. bye.